online philosophy of education course. This is our third week and we're getting more and more into information about how the curriculum is developed and how we as teachers in both public and private schools have the opportunity to influence not only the curriculum but the assessment choices and how we are treating our students in the classroom. This week, <clears throat> you'll have the opportunity to be reading in your philosophy book, pages 269 to 329. Now, I know that's a jump from where we were last week, but we'll come back to those other pages. I promise. I'm sure you've read ahead and now you think you're behind, but you're not. We're going to have those pages assigned as well. Also, take some time to read in Teaching Redemptively, pages 77 to 126. Counted that out, and it's about 100 pages of reading this week, so make sure you spend some time reading and taking notes. Again, in your reading collateral log, you need to answer all of the questions at the beginning of each section in the Philosophy of Education book, and then pick the first question at the end of each section in the Teaching Redemptively book and one other question to answer to go along with so, that. Uh, your collateral log should continue to be growing throughout all of your reading as well as giving you the opportunity to write down notes, thoughts, comments, or maybe even scripture verses that you thought of while you were reading. All of this will be then reviewed very carefully when you come to put together your own personal philosophy of education. Also do this week is your Impact of Culture paper, which is due Monday, June 22nd by 5 p.m. No late work will be accepted or graded. So you will select a culture from the list on the uh, assignment paper. Email to me which culture you're interested in researching. If no one else has selected that culture, it's all yours. If not, I'll shoot you an email or text saying find a different culture. So the sooner you pick your culture, the odds are you'll get that culture to research. Find out information not just about the culture, the food, the traditions, but also about what they believe family is supposed to be like. Uh, I want to know about their educational system. How is the educational system run in that area? And also, how is the educational system thought of when those cultures come and take courses or send their students to our American schools. So that's another thought. What do, how do these students act in both their schools from their country or if they are immigrants in our American schools? What are their thoughts on the importance of higher education and what is seen as successful to someone in that culture? Um, also do a little research on the importance of authority, punishment, um, behavior expectations, things like that. One of the biggest things that teachers can run into in their teaching is not really understanding how a culture responds to authority and what is appropriate behavior in uh, a room where there's an authority figure or if teachers are not considered authority figures. Um, so that way you're not frustrated or um, unable to communicate in a positive or non-threatening manner with a student that's growing up with the um, traditions and understandings of a separate, of a different culture. Uh, give us some tips for working with students from this culture in an American classroom. Uh, options you could choose would be researching the Asian culture, Hispanic culture, the African culture, the African American culture, the Middle Eastern culture, or maybe you can think of a different culture you'd really like to research. Let me know. The paper needs to be three full pages of single spaced, 12 point font, one inch margins, APA format, um, all of that into your paper. I'd like a works cited page, so only the works that you cite in the paper need to show up on another page with appropriate APA uh, references listed. I should not see only journal article, excuse me, only online sources used for the entire paper. Surely you can find a book somewhere, even if it's in the children's lit department. I mean, look for it. You can find it. Papers will okay. be shared with all members of the class so that everyone will have an opportunity to read about a different culture and some tips on working with them. So that's what we're going to be working on this week reading about curriculum and its impacts on our students as well as studying different cultures and their impact on our teaching. These will be graded using the um, 
upper level writing intensive rubric created by the English department for all of our writing intensive courses and that's also found online so you can see what rubric we're using. If you have any questions don't forget to email me. You have three emails or if it's an emergency shoot me a text um, and let me know that you've emailed me and I haven't responded. Hey hey get on the stick and I'd be happy to call you back. Hope you're having a great week and we'll see you on the discussion boards.